I started reading Middlemarch when I first read it as an undergraduate. Loved it, um, which apparently is somewhat unusual. I like the depth of character. Elliot, like Henry James, is a writer who looks deeply into the human spirit and the human psyche. And even as a young woman and, and as an undergraduate, I love that. But Middlemarch is a novel that I read over and over and over again. Every year or two I reread it because it changes as I grow older. There, there's so much there and the older I get the more able I am to accept it and look into it. Because it's a novel about consideration and reconsideration. And she's a very exciting writer. The novel in fact has a kind of cult status I would say among a certain category of intellectuals. To read Middlemarch is to be well read. So I invite you to join me in reading the cult novel, if you go for cult novels that someone like Virginia Woolf would love, um, to read a novel about consideration and reconsideration. And what I mean by that is that Elliot is the kind of writer who's not content with simple answers. My favorite part of the novel is the moment at which the main character, Dorothea Brooke, has, a, has what we call a dark night of the soul and she's very very hurt by something and she spends all night weeping and lying upon the floor and in the morning it comes to her that there are others who were hurt and there's something that she can do about it and so she takes herself up having not slept and in the 19th century having not slept is a crisis not having your maid dress you is a crisis nevertheless she dresses herself she takes off and she goes out in the world to to make good on her promise to not hide in selfish complaining and to do good in the world Middlemarch is the kind of novel that people think of as, a, as an intellectual commitment. I was at a party recently and I talked about doing this course and the people who were with me said, oh, Middlemarch, I should have read that, but I didn't. Um, there's another side of Middlemarch that we're going to explore in this course, and that is Middlemarch as a sexy novel. Uh, Dorothea Brooke is often thought of as a martyr and a saint. She's the main character in the novel. But it's also, there's a way in which this is actually a love story, a love story about um, how shall I put it? It's not a traditional love story in any sense of the word, but it's really a novel about, I said reconsideration, taking second chances. And as everyone I think knows, Dorothea is not satisfied the first time out. And in the course of the novel, she becomes a passionate person. And one of the things I would say about Middlemarch is that it's about passion in every sense of the word. I'm looking forward to returning students. I really love teaching the Humanities Seminars program and also new students. Um, I'm, I'm really excited to meet all of you. My classes are distinguished both by my willingness and interest in talking about my uh, training in history and culture of the 19th century, but I also enjoy hearing from you. So I, my engagement with you is, is real and genuine, something I love to do, and I'm really hoping that you'll join me for this passionate ride through Middlemarch.